for the Pro Tour Series at the Galway Downs International Horse Trials. And I'm joined now by James Alliston and Nate Chambers, who sit first and second aboard the standings going into tomorrow's stadium after brilliant rides on cross country here. First, Nate, walk me through your go today. Um, I mean, the, the course was quite sizable and, and it certainly took its toll. And I was, I was glad I was on um, a seasoned horse who I know very well and who tries very hard for me. Um, you know, he was, he was great for most of the course, and I thought I rode okay for most of it, too. But um, there were definitely some spots where I was glad I was on Rolly. <laughs> As you referred to, there's a lot of problems out there today. And what do you think kind of surprised riders the most? Um, you know, I haven't had a chance to see and talk to enough people to see where all the problems were. But my guess just with the course would be that... Um, you know, Ian has brought some of the European-style courses over here, um, and I think it maybe is something that we're all not used to seeing. And you know, even though I got around double clean, it was it was still a task. Um, and so I, th I think that's a big part of it. You know, adjusting to it, and it's great though. You know, for uh, helping us become a true power in the sport and competing with all the other countries worldwide. Yeah, as you say, it's definitely going to help the U.S. hopefully compete Absolutely. down the road. And speaking of competing against other countries, we <laughs> have James Alston here next to you. And James, you had a great day today, two double clean rounds. And you sit, as I said, in first going in the stadium tomorrow, but Nate's beating your door down a little bit right. here. Jumbo Jake's um, the leader at the, at the moment. So talk about not only his ride, but both of them. Um, yeah, I went out first on Parker, and um, he was very strong, actually. It wasn't the most comfortable round I've ever had. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, the saddle kind of went up his neck because I, I was pulling so hard on him. I'm not joking. Um, so that, you know, that wasn't necessarily very pretty, but we got the, got the right result. And, uh, and it certainly helped riding him, knowing that the time was, I think the time was quite achievable, really. Um, uh, so, so that helped riding Jake because you know he's not a full thoroughbred, so I could set out easy and then come home strong. Jake kind of is a little easier on you. Oh uh, yeah, no, it, it was it was a it was a pleasure to ride him. You know, I just leant on the neck and uh, steered him, and he cru cruised around. And you have the ride on Indian McAvoy's horse, Jumbo's Jake. You've had him for quite a while now. Took both horses to Rolex last year and had a great time there. What about the future? What does the future hold for someone like you and the Olympics approaching next year? Well, I, I don't think that's that's going to happen. Uh, but, oh, come on, man. Give yourself some credit. Uh, no. Um, but, you know, I, I do the best I can. I'm enjoying riding fabulous horses that I, that I have and um, hopefully um, can produce some more to, to step into their shoes at some point. And, you know, yeah. Well, definitely wishing you guys both the best of luck tomorrow and congratulations on a great day today. Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks.